everybody welcome back to the shop uh, this one's going to be a little different you know as I've been building out the panel I've been realizing I'm going to have to at some point you know put various labels and stickers on here and so I started uh, playing around with it and uh, recently my wife got a Cricut for uh, a Christmas present and I figured maybe I could try that out I was going to send it off and get it done but this may be an easier way to play around. I can do the panel, uh, cut out the holes, put the labels on there, try the different fonts. And so this is just going to walk you through some of that experimenting I've done. Um, everything from, you know, taking it, doing a painting of the material. So just spraying it on to try and do it that way to just sticking the vinyl on and just kind of my evolution of it. Uh, anyway, I hope you enjoy it. And uh, don't forget, if you like it, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. Cheers. Bye. Hey everybody, I figured I'd do this uh, this upload for the people that are playing along from home that maybe aren't so interested in wiring. Specifically, Norm, this would be for you. But, um, you know, I thought what I'd do, and I needed to do this eventually anyway, is as I've been building these panel inserts out and drilling the holes, I've been doing these in CAD, so ultimately I could send this off to, uh, you know, Aerosport products, what they'll do is they'll take them, they'll print them out for you, and they'll also sill screen them, which is maybe where I go, but I'm not sure yet. But I thought in the meantime, uh, maybe I'd make use of uh, my wife's Christmas present and a little bit of, uh, you know, cheap paint. I went out to Walmart and I got this Rust-Oleum flat gray primer, and also I got this uh, Rust-Oleum uh, I guess, I don't know, what is that kind of orange, gloss orange. And what I thought I would do is I painted the panel. This is just a quick, dirty job just to kind of see how it would work. I'm then going to go and use the uh, Cricut to print off a vinyl um, cutout that I will overlay on this that has the text for what each one of these, so these will be the circuit breakers, what each one of these circuit breakers would be. And then I'm gonna use the orange and spray over that and just kind of see how it works out and see if maybe it's something I can do. If not, I can send it off, but I figured I'd try it out. And I've made a couple already. I haven't printed them yet, uh, but uh, I did some for you know, the potentiometers for the light control. So kind of just the indicator that shows the, you know, getting brighter or darker. Um, so, but I figured I'd give this a whirl and uh, see how it works out. And, you know, maybe it'll uh, it'll be interesting to, uh, to some people who need to do, you know, more of the mechanical stuff, or, you know, in this case, it's not mechanical really, it's more just painting, but I figured it might be uh, fun to share. Okay, so step two, I printed it out. Uh, you can't really see it anymore because I got this transfer tape on top of it, but I printed it out. You can see here, maybe barely the, it says bus power, cabin lights, and so on. You put the transfer tape over top of it. And now what I'll do is I'll stick that vinyl onto the piece of metal and uh, we'll spray it and see how it works out. So we have the next step. Basically I've taken it I've stuck it on here and uh, now I'm going to remove the transfer tape and that should do it for this piece of vinyl and uh, then I'll be able to spray it. Okay, so kind of masked off. Like I said, this is just a rough try, but uh, it's masked off here now. And uh, next I'll take this stuff here and apply a coat and we'll see how that goes. I might apply two coats, but I'll bring you back when I'm done. Cheers. Here's the next step. So you can see I've already uh, sprayed on the orange. And I guess it's orange. And uh, you know, once it dries, then I'll peel it all off and uh, I'll come back and show you how it turned out. If it worked, great. Now, you know, the key here is this is all pretty rough. I didn't prep anything, I just painted on the floor. I didn't clean the aluminum so this was just a test this is not the final piece but I wanted to check to see if it was gonna work let's see cheers well hope you can see this but this is the outcome of my little experiment 
it's uh it's a little rough but you know i really didn't put a lot of effort into it um you know you can see the gray came off i'm not surprised it was i've only had it on there for a day never really let it harden and i never cleaned the aluminum but um you know you can see some of it came out pretty good um i didn't let it dry very long and I think, you know, that's one of the things you need to do is make sure it's dried. But uh, I think if, uh, you know, if I change the font a little bit, make it a little bigger font, which I think I can do now, now that I've seen it on here, um, I may be able to get this to work. We'll see. You'll see like the D is missing the center. Um, same with the B here. It's, uh, you know, the, the holes are not in it. Same with this B here, it's the same. Um, but it's, uh, it may be possible. Like I say, this is a first try and uh, I'll see what I can do. Like if I could make these thicker, I think they may work out better. And I can't remember now whether what size I made these, but maybe that's the other thing, make them a little bigger. But uh, it's possible. So I may, uh, I may just sand this all off and retry this and maybe do a little bit a uh, little bit better job on it like I said you know the sticky vinyl tore the paint off which you know if I tried that on the aluminum on the plane where I've got it primed that's never coming off so this just wasn't adhered it's like I said it's a Walmart paint and primer it's not really meant for this kind of uh, thing but uh, just curious if it would work and uh, it has some potential we'll see cheers well the first attempt was a bit of a fail but uh i redid it it's a larger font and um you know i think this will work out a lot better i did mess up the b here but uh other than that it looks pretty good now what's interesting is I'm going to put this on, stick it on, paint it again like I did the last one. But I could have just as easily did the reverse image of this and only had the letters left in here. And they would have been black or another color if I chose. And you could actually just stick the vinyl right onto the plane. And that is absolutely an option I may look at. Um, if I did that, what I would do is paint the panels the color I want stick the vinyl on and then do some kind of clear coat or something over top of it to protect it so it didn't come off. But um, it's another option, but I figured I'd give this paint another go. Again, remembering that, uh, you know, it's pretty cheap Walmart paint. It doesn't, you know, it's a not an epoxy based paint. It's not really gonna adhere to the aluminum very well. The aluminum's not very clean, yada, yada, yada. But I figured I'd try it out and see how it goes. Cheers. Okay, here it is what's actually attached. This gives you a good idea of what it would look like if it was white. Um, actually, I guess it's not white, it's the silver, because I peeled back some of the paint, just to kind of curious to see how it would look. But uh, as you can see, it actually, it actually looks pretty good. So that's what would happen if you put the vinyl on there and left it on, which, you know, we'll see. It may be the best option, um, but uh, I figure I'm gonna go forward and try the painting again and see how that works out. But this is looking a lot more promising. Cheers. And here it is with the first coat. And I'll do a couple of more, but uh, we'll see how it works out. Okay, so pulled off all the tape, dug out uh, most of the stuff in between. Like I mentioned before, the B, I messed up a little bit, but as you can see here, other than the color and maybe the bottom line needs to be moved down just a hair because it's a little close to the uh, actual breakers themselves. I would say this is definitely a success. Very easy to read, um, probably even a little big, but uh, you know, overall I think uh, it proves out the concept. And again, this is still with, you know, pretty inexpensive paint, uh, cheap paint. No priming, really didn't prep the surface. I think if I had a prep surface on here, pick the right color, I don't think the orange is very good. Uh, but, uh, you know, maybe if I did it in black, 
with the right color background, I think this would work out uh, very well indeed. Anyway, hopefully that's, uh, that's useful. I don't know where I'll go with this long term, but uh, you know, there's not a lot of things that need to be labeled on the panel. So this may be uh, an easy way to do it. And then of course, if I did it this way, you know, I'd probably put a coat of, uh, like I mentioned before, a clear coat on here, just so that uh, it's nice and adhered. You're not gonna scrape it off with your fingernail or something like that, or hitting it with keys, which shouldn't be anyway, but I think it's, uh, it's a good option. Cheers. Okay, here's my final test of lettering. Now this is with, uh, again, just using the vinyl lettering. So I actually just put the letters on here, uh, printed it off and just stuck these on. These are all vinyl. It actually came out pretty good, even for a small thickness of a font. So this is probably the way I would go uh, different font, maybe go with a font that's more like this, a little thicker, um, but I can make it a little smaller and it goes on very well. I don't have to worry about painting over it. Uh, and I think it looks, uh, you know, it looks pretty good. And especially, you know, this is going to be the case where I have a dimmer in here. It's kind of showing how the dimmer works. I may change the size on this a little bit. But this is Futura um, font. It's, but like you, like I said, it's pretty thin in around here. I think I'd like it a little thicker. Um, this one, I believe when I did it, I've got it on the computer, is bold. So I think if it wasn't bold, maybe a little smaller font. And I printed it and just stuck it on with the vinyl. I think it'll work really well. And then I think, you know, like I said, I'll just clear coat over the top of it. And that way it's, uh, it's pretty easy to maintain. And if you need to reprint it, it's pretty straightforward. I don't know, but I think it looks like we have got a winner here. So this one here is the same font as that one, except this one is in bold. And, uh, you know, from my take on it, it's very easy to read. Um, the font's large, but, uh, you know, I think it needs to be, again, if I just put, you know, an example of a button here, I think it shows pretty good. I'll make the little uh, dimmer icon maybe a little bigger, but uh, overall, I think the text from this is looking, uh, is looking like it's the winner. Cheers.